What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. This time, we are going to be talking about the announcement of All Elite Wrestling. Now, now, Greg, this is not really nothing is known about this. We also got Double or Nothing, which I'm assuming that's like All In 2, I think. I don't know. <laughs> now, we haven't really gotten anything really on what All Elite Wrestling is, or... Are letting you watch it. Cause like it's so far we just got an announcement on the latest episode of Being the Elite, which I've actually been watching recently. No, great. I don't watch all their episodes because I some of their episodes. Sometimes I watch some of their videos. I'm like, eh, it's it's okay. But like some of their episodes, I love them. Like the episode when Cody was getting possessed and he was just that episode had me dying. I of course watch this one of Being the Elite with you know the announcement of All Elite Wrestling. Now we've kind of heard rumors and speculation about this for a while now. Um, that, you know, trademarks were filed, like, a few months ago about All Elite, Le um, All Elite Wrestling, and, you know, uh, it was it Tuesday Night Titans, I think was another one, and a bunch of other stuff. And I guess this, uh, this announcement does, uh, I guess, prove that the rumor is that Cody Rhodes and the Bucks did indeed deny a seven-figure, reject, I should say, a seven-figure deal from the WWE to sign them, which, I mean, okay. Now, you guys know that I've been someone that has been growing up with WWE all my life. Well, not all my life. I've been watching this thing for about eight years now, ever since I was ten. I've been watching wrestling. WWE, that was my shit. Now, and of course, you guys know that also started this year, I have slowly started to dabble in the indies after, after at the behest of my closest friend, Eli Moore, who, is, who would hound me relentlessly in our conversations, be like, oh, dude, you need to watch, you need to watch NXT, you need to watch New Japan, you need to watch NXT, you need to watch NXT, you need to watch New Japan, you know what I'm like, you, you need to get and start watching the indies, WWE, WWE is trash, the main roster is trash, WWE sucks, you know, but, you can always tell me, and I was like, ugh, ugh, just stop already, dude. Uh, I was like, whatever, whatever. One day I'll watch it, one day. But then you guys know, of course, when I saw the uh, uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf, you know, why Professor Wrestling is so fast of you, that's when I started watching, you know, New Japan. And then NXT was after what was like after much after I watched Bailey and Sasha Banks' matches at, at their takeovers, you know, the Iron Woman match, as well as their first match at TakeOver Brooklyn. That's when I started watching NXT, and you guys know from there. Now, me personally, I think this I this announcement and this uh, this new wrestling promotion started by Cody Rhodes in the box is an amazing idea. It will definitely keep a fire underneath Vince Vince McMahon to hopefully give us some better television on my right. Because like, even though I watch Raw every week, I watch it just out of habit at this point. Like, I wouldn't say I'm like as like I'm not like JD where I just hate every second of it, but most of the time I'm just like, oh, whatever. It's so painfully average. It's just so dull. I, yeah, no, I'm, the, yeah, like, ugh, like at this point, like, most of the time, like, legit, two, like, a few weeks ago when Bobby Trashley, yes, Bobby Trashley, he is not called Lashley in this realm, he, when, you know, he came out, like, you know, with a broken guitar two weeks, like, the week after TLC, the Raw after TLC, I immediately left the room, I went to the bathroom, I didn't even really have to go, but I just wanted to, I just didn't want to, have to listen to Bobby Trashley and Leo, Tr and Leo Rush, dear God, those guys, are a charisma vacuum. They like like JD says, you could put a trash can with a put a like a headband on top of a trash can and probably have better more charisma than Bobby Trashley. Anyway. Now so I say this is a great idea. Now I'm with JD when he says that, that they should not worry they should not like start up by trying to compete with WWE because they shouldn't. They will they will lose that battle. No matter how much better the product is compared to WWE, they can't compete with Vince's money. I mean, Cody Rhodes and the Bucks may have some may have some um, you know maybe actual wrestlers and they know the ins outs of business and they probably have tons of respect, including yours truly. After they after what they did with All In, which I will which which I won't lie, even after I saw All In, which I loved All In, it was great. I won't lie, I did I did start to appreciate WWE's like you know uh, WWE's like you know. Um, uh, uh, I guess the behind the scenes after WWE, like, you know, the actual, like, you know, the, the voicing and the pyro and everything, because, like, there was, like, because there were, like, some audio glitches that happened all around the start, but the pyro wasn't all that great, because I was like, man, do I miss Dan? Because, like, it didn't have that same power that when you would, like, would start off on Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown, where it was just like, mm! This one was like, beep, beep, beep. Yeah, not, not dissing them, but I'm just like, man, I miss, yeah. <laughs> it made you appreciate WWE more. Uh, not that it's a bad thing. Now, like I said, I saw it all in, loved it, and 
So, uh, so I do. So I am of the opinion that this is definitely a great idea, a great thing for wrestling, because that means that most people definitely have a new alternative to go to. Because well, now will I personally be watching all Elite Wrestling? Yes, I will be watching this alongside with NXT and and um, and New Japan. I'll be watching this alongside, and this also is another way because granted, I don't watch TNA, don't watch Ring of Honor, but I say this could be a great alternative to WWE for the long term. I'd say they should worry more about being an alternative for the while, and then once they really start, you know, getting in the sponsors, really getting in the money, then maybe like maybe a few years down the road, if uh, all Arena Wrestling does really become a success, then they can worry about competing with WWE, and maybe then we can finally get Vince to like, you know, hey, uh, Triple H, you might take it over the main roster before I get a heart attack from these guys, you know, so that sort. So. Yeah. Now we don't like I said we don't know what really anything that's gonna happen with all of the wrestling. We don't really know any really anything. So me personally, and I can also definitely see all Elite wrestling going to be as like you know I think I even I could have sworn they also found a like, trademark for like says match type that had like something like you know resurrection or something. I forget the exact trademark. Um, or this could also work for like you know for WWE former WWE guys that have, that have been that have not been utilized to the fullest like you know Finn Balor. And you know, Dolph Ziggler, and of course, the revival. The revival. These could probably. This can be like their new, their new home to that way they'll be trademark. Right? Because let's be honest, like you know, the revival. Now, me personally, I'm not a big fan. I'm not really a fan of the revival. Granted, I've not watched any of their matches in NXT. I've only seen their main roster match, which they're pretty good. I've seen a couple of their matches here and there. Thought they were pretty good, but they haven't really, uh, you know. Uh, caught my interest or anything. Now, you guys know how much of a big Dolph Ziggler fan I am, and I will lie, I am not now. With Dolph Ziggler, it's kind of half and half. Because if you ask me, like, hey, Glenn, what do you think of Dolph Ziggler back in, like, 2015? Like, you know, like, what was it, like, 2016, 2017? I would have said, like, yes, please, please. Get all the, Dolph, please, get get off the WWE and sign with all Elite Wrestling, please. Because, you know, he was pretty much became a jobber at that point. He was just, he was just all over the place. Now, in 2018, he's done a lot better with Drew McIntyre. But we know that he is going to, that he's got, that he's going to get shafted in the long run. So, and all Elite, with all Elite Wrestling, he, you can definitely tell he's going to be one of their top guys and they won't treat him like WWE has recently, which is unfortunate because I love Dolph Ziggler. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, obviously. I love Dolph Ziggler. Finn Balor's another guy that could really use because, you know, as much as, now Graham, as much as we do, as we all love Finn Balor, the dude's the starter of the, is the founder of the Bullet Club and look how he's been treated. The man's care like, you know, he went from being like one of the top guys on Monday night right before his injury to now being pretty much just, you know, a mid carter uh, you know, uh, uh, an over mid Carter with the fans. All he does is just smile. There's none of that badassery he used to have when he first came in there, you know, back in 2016 when he was, like, you know, with SummerSlam and everything, but, like, there's nothing. And I can definitely see, like, Finn Balor could be a guy that will also end up being one of the top guys of all of And also, we've also heard that CM Punk, a man CM Punk, is also willing to take, is willing to listen to offers to join all elite wrestling which ooh if they sign punk <laughs> oh Vince oh Vince oh Vince oh I swear that man's gonna get a heart attack once he hears that <laughs> but yeah so overall I like I said this video is kind of all over the place because there's really not really much for me to talk about but me, overall I think all elite wrestling is going to be a great thing for professional wrestling in general as another as another alternative for us as a, another alternative for people that are just that are not set that are unsatisfied with the WWE prod they don't like how the main roster is going they hate Monday Night Raw I still say Smackdown still pretty awesome I love Smackdown but yeah Raw oh god please for the love of god get, get Triple H please start riding it please get Triple H to work on it please Please, because I miss the old days of Monday Night Raw from like twenty, from like twenty ten to twenty fourteen. That was like the that, that's when I actually loved Monday Night Raw. And I was always like, oh, I gotta watch Monday Night Raw. I have to watch Monday Night Raw. Now I'm just like, okay, it's on. Okay, let's watch. All right, let me like, cause now I just I just listen to it at this most point. Like I can't, like I watch the intro and then that's about it. I also I, most of them I'm just watching, you know, doing other stuff on my computer, on my I'm on my phone. I'm not really paying attention to Monday Night Raw because it's just become so boring and just so meh. Uh, so yeah. So tell me down below, guys, what you guys think of all the rest. Do you think this is going to be a good thing that could end up, you know, maybe hopefully getting, giving, making Vince give us a superior product to giving us back those golden years back in the day of Monday Night Raw when it was actually good? Or do you think, no, this is a terrible idea, they should sign with the, they should sign with WWE, fuck, fuck them, you know, all that shit. The goons. 
But yeah, now, I won't lie, hearing this is a little disappointing to me because the wrestling fan, the little 10-year-old inside me is like, because I was hoping they would sign that we could maybe, see, along with Kenny Omega, so that we could possibly get like a, reuni a reunification of the Bullet Club angle, like, you know, like, I was hoping, like, maybe at WrestleMania this year, like, you know, let's say, let's say Brock Lesnar was going to face off AJ Styles in the Universal Top, and AJ won, like, you know, like, you know, how does Bullet Club members, you know, friends come up, you know, you know Finn Balor, Luke Kate, Carl, and uh, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, have them all come in there, you know, applaud them, have their little celebration, and then Kenny Omega music's hit, then he shows up, and then he, and then he, like, like kind of, like, moves away from the ramp, and then the Bucks and Cody Rhodes come up, and then maybe, how, maybe you could throw in the Undisputed Era, because Adam Cole was a former member of the Bull Club, and then we can have just a nice face-off between the two, and then from there, you can have them going at it until, like, maybe at Survivor Series, you could have, like, the 5-on-5 the five five match is just those two base uh, between AJ's team, AJ's Bullet Club, and Kenny Omega's Bullet Club. Have those guys face off, and then the winner is the leader of the Bullet Club, or the club, I guess, here on WWE, since they can't call it the Bullet Club for obvious reasons. But I was hoping that we could get something like that, but... At the very least, I hope we can at least get Kenny Omega to come in there, because... Man, I want to see Kenny Omega go against Finn Balor, AJ Styles, um... Uh, Seth Rollins, all those guys, Samoa Joe, Daniel Bryan, all those guys. I would love to see uh, uh, Kenny Omega go against those guys. So yeah, like I said, so yeah, guys. So tell me down below what you guys think of All Elite Wrestling, and yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to whatever it does start up. I will be watching it, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it, to seeing what you know Cody Rhodes and the Bucks have in store for us for professional wrestling, and hopefully, maybe it can also maybe maybe. Maybe get some rumblings up to Vince, and he might actually give us a more a better Monday Night Raw tour. It's actually worth watching. But yeah, so hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram, and Twitter if you like it. Links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.